team. I'm Kathy Berger with Health Data Management, and I'm here with Lee Poe, Chief Information Officer with Hugh Chatham Memorial Hospital, and Michael Trader, Co-Founder and President, Right Patient. And we're going to be discussing some of the issues around data integrity and accurate patient ID in healthcare. So Lee, I'd like to start with you. Um, can you tell me about how you decided to deploy Iris Biometrics for patient ID at Hugh Chatham Memorial Hospital? When, uh, when we first started out, we knew we had an issue with patient identification and having a proper patient. So we started off with actual palm scanning. When we started off with palm scanning, we used it for approximately a year and found the adoption rate wasn't really well because people touching an object became an infection control issue. And it also was people didn't want to do it because they associated it more with like fingerprints and criminal activity. Uh, they came along with the, the iris scanning, and when we did a pilot test, we actually put it in the organization as a test. And on the first day, the first thing that happened, the person came up, they're taking your picture. When they take your picture, we're used to people pulling out cameras and taking our picture. People accepted it really easily. They ask you, can you do my child while they're here? Can you do my other child while I'm here? So the acceptance was almost instant. Uh, so we went from a system that was very, very low adoption rate over a year to I, I tripled the patients in three days just by going to the iris biometrics. In addition to the acceptance that you just mentioned, what other kinds of results have you realized since you deployed the right patient solution? Actually, the integration was seamless. Uh, during the pilot, that's what, one of the things that we wanted to find out was how easy it would be to get the stuff into the system. So it actually speeds the, the registration process along because it does everything for you. The, the best part of it is now we have it integrated to the point where we will take the pictures that were taken and put them inside of our electronic health record. So even up on the floors, the nurses can see the patient's picture when they're doing medications, they're scanning, and when they look, they go, yes, that is definitely her. So that, that one worked out very well for us. So um, Michael, how does the right patient solution work? Well, uh, right patient is a biometric software platform that seamlessly interfaces with the provider electronic health record system. And essentially it links a patient's biometric data, which is unique to every individual, to their medical record. So once, once that link is created, Every time the patient visits the facility, we simply capture their biometric data. Our backend matching system runs a real-time comparison to find out who that person is. And if it finds a matching record, it seamlessly pulls up that patient's medical record within the provider's EHR system. So uh, if a provider is interested in this kind of technology, well, why should they consider right patient? I think Right patients should be strongly considered really for, for three main reasons. Uh, first of all, our experience in biometric technology. We have 13 years of experience in biometrics, projects of all sizes all over the world, some very, very large projects. We work with all different forms of biometrics. Our platform supports all forms of biometrics. Uh, and you know, I think that in order to make this kind of implementation successful, you need a trusted partner that can bring that experience to the table and ensure that you are achieving a high level of success. In, with respect to, to biometric patient ID specifically, we have customers that collectively see over 30 million patient visits annually that are using the right patient solution and relying on right patient as a trusted uh, partner. So that's number one. Number two, is our integration capabilities. Lee, Lee touched on this a little bit. We seamlessly interface with the provider's electronic health record software. We've already built interfaces to every major EHR platform out there, Epic, Cerner, Siemens, Meditech, McKesson, CPSI, a lot of other EHR platforms as well. So I think that really is a strength of ours uh, in addition to our experience because the integration allows the biometric system to become a seamless part of the EHR workflow. Third, and, and finally, um, I would say that uh, you know, right patient, 
the solution itself, the, the software, the platform itself, uh, and how robust it is and how flexible it is, is another big differentiator for us. So I mentioned earlier that the platform supports a variety of different forms of biometrics, including iris, vascular, uh, which consists of palm vein and finger vein, fingerprint and facial recognition. So from a single platform, you can utilize any of these forms of biometrics. Uh, and the system is also highly scalable as well. So we have a super scalar, back-end, hyper-threaded, high-performance computing system, matching system. We can match tens of millions of biometric templates per second with a very, very high degree of accuracy. And the system can be easily scaled to support very large deployments, uh, hospitals and health systems that see you know, tens of millions of patients annually in a distributed environment. So I'd say for those three reasons, right patients should be strongly considered. Experience, uh, the integration with the EHR, and the technology itself, the robustness of the technology. So, Michael, what are some of the overall benefits of using right patient? What we're seeing is really uh, several different reasons why health systems providers are looking to invest in this kind of technology. Uh, first of all, to prevent the creation of duplicate and overlay medical records, which, as Lee knows very well, cause a huge cost and strain on the health system. Secondly, uh, to mitigate fraud and identity theft at the point of care. And uh, finally, to ensure high levels of data integrity. And this is really to ensure high levels of patient safety. Those two are, are interrelated. You're ensuring accurate patient identification with every visit to the hospital. That helps to keep the data clean, and it also helps to ensure that uh, clinicians always have access to the patient's complete and accurate medical history so that they can provide the highest level of care. I know that Lee has also seen some examples in his environment. Some of the, some of the reasons that took us down the road to actually positively identify the patients was we've had a couple of cases where one relative used another relative's uh, Medicaid card and we're having services conducted. Well, when you're dealing with twins, or you're dealing with someone that looks very similar, the picture wasn't there. There was no identification of the patient. So, it was easy for them to basically get free medical care. And this can get very expensive. So, we went, we pursued, we got a system, we put it in. As soon as we put it in, it took care of itself. We'd have no more cases of that today.